21st Cursed Founding was an experimental founding of space marines, dating back to the 36th millennium. Upon the planet Inculaba, a group of Adeptus Mechanicus were attempting to perfect space marine gene seed and remove the flaws from the many legions. This was allegedly an attempt to create Primarch-like marines that were better in every way to today's Astartes. Unfortunately, something went horribly wrong. Whether it was due to the simple fact that the experimenters were nowhere near the Emperor's expertise at genetics, or that the winds of the warp seeped their way into the labs, it is uncertain. Regardless, the Space Marines were deeply disturbing, some harboring only minor genetic mutations that the Inquisition barely tolerated, while others were an explosion of mutant flesh to the point where they were no longer human. The majority of the 21st founding has fallen to chaos. When the Inculaba lab was rediscovered by an explorator fleet, an amniotic tank containing a living Primarch-sized individual was found. Perhaps the Emperor will forgive you. I will not! The Minotaur Space Marine Chapter are an organization of bloody ferocity and extreme mystery. Allegedly created during the 21st Cursed Founding, these Space Marines are known for their intense bloodlust, constant embraceiveness, and legendary hatred. They have been unleashed on multiple occasions against other chapters. The Minotaurs carved a bloody path and have brought said chapters to their knees with absolutely no mercy. It is thought by many that they have close ties to the High Lords of Terra and act as their agents and executioners. Their gene seed is chimeric and the origin is completely unknown. They are masters of attrition and have seemingly unlimited resources to spend and replenish. These beasts operate as a whole, almost never committing parts of the chapter to other war zones. As a result, their fury and brute force is legendary. Against the entire might of a chapter with such ruthless efficiency and bloody hatred, there is no chance of survival. You will be for my brother's life! The Lamenters are a space marine chapter of honor, humility, humanity, devotion, and sorrow. They hail from the 20 first cursed founding, being Blood Angel's successors, and these sons of Sanguinius perfectly embody their Primarch's humanity and compassion. Yet fate dealt them an undeserved hand of tragedy and misfortune. Their fellow space marines saw them as cursed, and so the Mortifactors abandoned the Lamenters to fight alone against the Black Legion. The pure of heart and stalwart warriors refused to leave the populace, despite facing sure defeat. This resulted in 800 dead battle brothers. The chapter was deceived into joining Luft Huron in the Badab War, and would be decimated by the Minotaur's chapter. As penance, they would be sentenced to a 100-year crusade, in which High Fleet Kraken reduced their numbers to a handful of marines. Even after all this, they still uphold justice, they still fight on, and they will never bow, never break, and never give up. The Emperor's light is my torch! The Flame Falcons are a chapter who were purged due to wrongful accusations. They were created during the 21st Curse Founding and proved to be an incredible fighting force. These Marines were tough, resolute, and courageous beings whose loyalty was undeniable. At the time, they appeared to be one of the greatest and most unblemished of the 21st Founding, with trials seeing them superior to most Space Marines. One fateful day at the height of a desperate combat, the Flame Falcons discovered a great blessing. Their first company burst into flames and were found to battle with incredible fury and renewed vigor. Soon after, the entire chapter experienced such a moment. Each battle brother suddenly became wreathed in fire, yet not a scratch was found upon their flesh. The Falcons rejoiced at this clear blessing from the Emperor, but when they returned to their homeworld, the Grey Knights were waiting. The Demon Hunters mercilessly purged the chapter, believing they had been corrupted by chaos. It is unknown how many remain today, but some brothers still live on. The Firehawks are a mysterious space marine chapter who some believe to be the Legion of the Damned. Hailing from the 21st Curse founding, these marines claim to be created from ultramarine gene seed, but very few actually believe them. Their chapter command structure was incredibly intricate and particular. Along with this, the Firehawks were extremely prideful and arrogant. The chapter often refused calls to deployment, believing such squabbles were beneath them. Instead, they focused on obliterating all internal threats to the Imperium, especially that of Chaos. Their holy fury and undeniable force was a grand power, and the marines specialized in intense frontal assault assaults of exact and immediate destruction, throwing the majority of their assets into one condensed killing machine that trampled all before it in an instant. The chapter invaded the realm of Nurgle and were wreathed in ethereal flame, burning away all chaotic presence. Since then they have been considered lost, but they may be the Legion of the Damned. I fear nothing for I am fear incarnate. 
The Black Dragons are a space marine chapter of mutants. They were created during the 21st Cursed Founding, using Salamander's gene seed, yet they have very little in common with their kind and noble predecessors. These marines are brutal, cold, and merciless, with a hatred that burns hot like the fire of a dragon. Most notable are the bone growths protruding from their bodies. Massive spiked bone swords jet out from their arms, poisonous fangs glint in their mouths, and scaly skin covers them. Due to this, they are seen with incredible suspicion by the Inquisition and other chapters, yet the Black Dragon's loyalty to the Imperium is unquestionable. They are fierce in combat, many coating their bone swords in adamantium and donning jump packs to soar on the wings of the dragon and tear the enemy to pieces. The chapter has accepted their mutations and encourages their battle brothers to embrace and be proud of the things that make them stronger. Most chapters do not trust them, yet the dragons have fought in many major conflicts and even received Primaris reinforcement. I am death. I am fearless. I am invincible. The Sons of Antaeus are a space marine chapter of giants. Little is known of them, but eyewitness accounts speak of their hulking physiques, standing a full head above the average space marine, and a resilience that borders on the unnatural. Alien from the 21st Curse founding, they claim to be an ultramarine successor, yet who knows if this is true. There is only one recorded campaign in Imperial Records that shows accounts of the Sons of Antaeus, with all other accounts being simple word of mouth stories. In this war, the witnesses saw them obliterate the enemy Eldar, while shrugging off utterly devastating wounds as if they were nothing. When the day had been won, the chapter left without a word. These space marines are the stuff of legend, and the reason for their durability is unknown. Perhaps it is a case of simple mutations or implants in the gene seed. Perhaps there were proto-primaris marines, or perhaps there is a darker reason. Whispers speak of potential iron warriors gene seed, while the majority of rumors speak of death guard lineage. You fight for nothing! You are nothing! The Blood Gorgons are an incredibly well-organized and unified warband of Chaos Space Marines who are all bonded to each other. Created during the 21st Cursed Founding, they greatly valued their independence and eventually turned traitor. The Space Wolves massacred them, but the Gorgons fled to a space hall called Cauldron Dorm. There, they would battle brutal and bloody civil wars, but were eventually unified by Chapter Master Gamadin. Since then, they have become a highly effective and powerful fighting force, recruiting from a plethora of worlds and developing a very unique aspect of Brotherhood. The space marines of this warband are all bonded together by blood, body, mind, and soul. The sorcerer apothecaries known as Chirurgeon use unholy powers to undergo this ritual, giving the two marines the ability to know each other's thoughts and act in complete cohesion. Other than this, the Gorgons have a disdain for chaos and see themselves using the gods instead of being used by them. They hold a wariness of the dark powers not seen by almost any chaos space marine. 